Hello, thank you for showing interest in What Ho World. In this video, I'll talk you through the deck, the different cards in it, and how to set up a game. So, the What Ho deck is 90 cards. The first 30 cards are asset and goals. In each of these is a resource that your character has access to and a goal they're trying to pursue through the course of the game. Next up, there's the 10 location cards. Each of these is a different place you might set a scene in What Ho Worlds, and each has a photo on the front showing you the sort of place it is, and prompts on the back giving you ideas for people you might be there, reasons you might go there, and things that might happen over the course of a scene there. Next, you have five reference cards. Each player gets one of these, and they're double-sided. On one side, you have the procedures for framing a scene, and for meeting your goal. On the other side, you have the basic moves, and these are abilities that every character can use at any time. What's left are the most important part of the game, the character decks. Now, there are five of these, each color-coded and each holding nine cards. There's the gadabout, the servant, the aged relative, the highbrow, and the pillar of society. To go in deeper in what's in a character deck, first you have your face card. This is just the picture of what sort of person the character deck could be. Next, you have the relationships. One of these is going to be a positive one. For the gadabout, it's your old chum, someone you've grown up with, and you can always jump into their scenes when you want. So you'll pass this to whoever it is to remind them. Next up, you have a negative relationship. This will be someone who can spend one of their tokens to do some sort of nasty thing for you. With the gadabout, it's someone who holds your purse strings, someone who controls your income, and they can hint at this to get you to do something for them. Again, flip it over, pass that to them. That tells them everything they need to know. Finally, you have a card of ideas you can use while creating your gadabout. Names, personality, style, etc. Once you've created them, you flip that over and that will be a trouble move, which is something you can activate during play to get extra resources that complicate your own story. Finally, you have your five moves. These are different abilities that the character deck has access to, and you can use these whenever your character is in the scene and you have the tokens to pay for them. So you'll start with two of these, perhaps the ability to take on burdens from other people and have a lot of money, in the Gadabout's case. The rest of them you'll flip over, and these are now token cards. Each of them is two different types of tokens, so this one, for example, can be spent as Wit, the Diamond, or Grace, the Heart, on any move that needs it. And that's the deck. Check out the next video for details on how to set up your game.